Hey guys, this is Kedar here. These son of devices are really good for the power measurements and things like that. You can just simply connect this to your home or a room and get your power consumption started. You can also turn it on and off. But the things I don't like about this device, well you need a frequent internet connection. These devices sync the data to the Chinese server. That is the main con of this son of devices. So today I'm going to solve all of this issue by flashing a new firmware called Tasmoda onto the son of devices. No matter your device is son of basic or son of power, son of power R2, you can use this method. And after flashing the Tasmoda firmware, you can able to use this device without internet connection. You won't even require a router. It, this uh, son of devices will generate its own Wi-Fi network so yeah guys this is a really cool firmware plus it has a lot of options and you can do a lot of tweakings as well so let me show you how you can do this guys I already opened up the son of device as you can see I just took off the front cover and this is what you see inside now originally this uh, device will not have this DuPont pins installed so I simply soldered those uh, 5 or 6 DuPont pins. It's pretty simple you just have to use your soldering iron. And right after that I installed this backplate again. And then guys you can see I connected this uh, CP2102 module. Now this one can connect to your PC and then you can flash a new firmware onto your son of device. Now the connection is pretty simple guys. You have to connect ground together so ground of this one to ground of that one then to the VDD terminal you have to connect 3.3 volts this one then you have to connect the TX terminal of the sun up to RX and the RX of the sun up to the TX of the CP2102 module and that's uh, pretty much it guys this is a very simple connection now for connecting it you have to press this sun up button you have to long press it and then plug in this into your USB port and then you can release this so that it will enter into the firmware flashing mode. So that's it guys. Now let me get to my computer so I can show you how you can do this. So all the download links are given in the description below. You have to download this Tasmotizer exe file and just double click to open it up. Now you can see this is the Tasmotizer window you'll get. Okay guys, so the very first thing we are going to do is backup original Sunup firmware. So click on this and then you have to select the latest release. And I'm going to choose the latest release right here and click on Tasmotize. So it will take some time to make a backup but it will give you a bin file that you can always recover if you want to make your Sunup as it was before. So here we go guys our backup is 100% complete. Now you can remove your USB device and reconnect it. Make sure to press the button onto the sun up so that it will enter into the programming mode. So guys before doing anything let's copy our backup file that we just took. So this is the backup file. You can rename the file as whatever you want and make sure to store it in a safe location so you can use this later on so let's fire up your task mode I by double clicking on it and we will start flashing make sure to select the com port and then click on the latest release and click on erase before flashing and click on task mode eyes now make sure to click on erase before flashing after that your Tasmodizer will automatically flash Tasmoda into your Sunup PAL or whatever device you connected. So there you have it guys, our Tasmoda is flashed successfully. Now you can simply click on quit. And now guys we are going to search for our Tasmoda device through wireless networks. Currently I am connected to my ethernet. So I will switch to my Wi-Fi and let's search for our task motor device so here I'm going to disable my ethernet and let's connect to our Wi-Fi network so now I have successfully activated my Wi-Fi 
and you can see guys i can't able to see the dashmoda device into the list so i just simply disconnect the power to my sunup and reconnect it to my pc so there you can see guys my dashmoda device let's connect to the device and boom there you go it is connecting now you can see guys i'm going to head on to my dashmoda page this is the 192.168.4.1 page this is the page hosted by the Tasmota device itself. Now I will put my Wi-Fi SSID and the password and then click on save. Now this Tasmota device will link to my Wi-Fi network and I can able to access it anywhere. So yeah guys, now you can see I can simply connect to my Ethernet or my Wi-Fi network and into my Wi-Fi into my administrator page. You can see a new device is appeared here you go guys you can see tasmota and this is our ip address so let's put this ip address now guys newer version of tasmotizer has a integrated get ip function so you don't have to search for the ip of your tasmota device you can simply click on this and you'll get the ip of your device so i simply copy pasted the ip address and now you can see guys our tasmota is alive if you click on toggle it will turn on and off as i can able to see it right over here now guys you have to configure it to work as a sana pow r2 device to unlock its full potential so in the configure module i'm going to select sana pow r2 as a module type and boom there you go guys our device will restart in few seconds and right after the reboot it will be a working sana pow device with unlocked features such as apparent power reactive power power factor and things like that okay guys so i have set it up an home assistant server so you can see if i open up this application which is home assistant application you can see the dashboard and there you go guys you can see the solar energy consumption of our house which is 130 watts it's a uh, very low at this time but you get it guys sunset is already happened and you can see guys our home consumption home energy consumption is 334 watts right now and this is our entire home consumption so it's really good to see all of the readings right onto my smartphone you can see guys into the freak room i can see the motion is clear and detected that means there is a person inside the room also the temperature humidity inside the room i can also turn on and off the bulb also i can turn on and off the pants yeah it's really useful guys and there are many things guys i mean i'm just touching the tip of the iceberg right over here i can control every control inside our house individually and yeah it's very useful now i have also integrated cameras into one place like there are three or four cameras which is also possible also there are tv controls you can see our google home i can speak anything over here and broadcast in our entire house and all google homes will shout out this command now if you want all of the detailed readings in one place here you go guys the grid energy readings are here the voltage current power consumption kilowatts per hour apparent power reactive power power factor and same for our solar energy production so yeah guys this is all up to you how you want to customize this home automation dashboard and things like that so that's for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed this video a lot please hit that like button share this video subscribe to my channel and hit that join button to enable the membership so that you can regularly support my channel and let me do many of these awesome projects and yeah guys i will see you in the next one